So those of you who have watched more than a couple videos know that there are two main things that I'm looking forward to in 2022. I haven't shared one of them. But the first one is harassing and bothering my cat and treating her like I would anyone in my life who I like and being obnoxious. The second one is the Batman. And LEGO has actually released a lot of the Batman sets for the Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson Batman movie. I'm so excited and I wanted to take a look today at the actual Batmobile. It comes with Penguin, Batman. It looks awesome. It is sick. And you know, we're gonna open this up, put it together and take a look at it together. But before we hop into this, this video is sponsored by the wonderful, lovely friend of the channel, Opera GX. We are partnered today once again with our wonderful friends at Opera GX. Opera GX is a fantastic web browser, usable by anyone, but specifically aimed towards gamers. Now this web browser is awesome and it has a ton of features, including a hot tabs killer. This is a feature that allows users to identify the most resource draining tabs and close them to make sure the browser does not overburden your PC or laptop. Believe it or not, this is something that can be an issue, especially if you're doing what I do where you record something a lot of times that can take up a lot of resources and maybe you got something going on in the background that's just draining it you got too many music videos going they can actually identify that with the hot tabs killer and shut that down there is a forced dark mode which is in beta currently which forces brightly designed pages to become dark to stop the blinding glare and it also injects its own changes to a site's styles to turn bright backgrounds dark this is awesome for gamers who are up late at night having fun and it is fantastic there is a GX Cleaner, which helps you remove old junk files and boost your browser's performance in just one click. There's so many things going on with this, including the Quick Import Tool, because Opera GX is equipped with an import tool that allows you to quickly import all your settings from your previous browser to Opera GX. Your browsing history, bookmarks, and cookies. Maybe you're worried about switching web browsers. You're thinking, Jay, this is way too much work. Opera GX has made it simple, fast, and easy, so you can get back to game immediately. I recently started playing Fallout New Vegas again in my free time and I need every moment I can to get back into the wasteland in Nevada and they are making it easy with Opera GX. It's also worth mentioning that GX does have a mobile version because GX Mobile can be connected to the desktop version using the Flow feature. You can send files, videos, links, and notes between browsers in just a single click. And there is also GX Corner on the start page of GX Mobile with a game release schedule, gaming news, and free mobile games. You can find my personal tracking link down below in the description to download Opera GX for free. Please check out Opera GX. They are a fantastic partner of this channel. Thank you, Opera GX, for taking a chance on our video and let's hop back into it. So one of the things I love about this Batmobile is that it's just very simply a car. Now this thing is obviously an armored beast. It's got a lot going for it in the movie, but I really, really love the more unique, simple take on this car. Uh, it's very clearly like a year one or two ish starting Batmobile. So putting it together is gonna be really fun. This is very different than other Batmobiles we've seen on screen. And I'm really excited to actually get into it and to see this in the movie. Now, of course, again, all toys have to be childproof and childproof means to jar day proof, but we will hop into it. <laughs> Okay, so great news, they do have the compartmentalization as always with Lego. Oh, we got a little crap on the floor there, but they've actually started doing, <laughs> can you get out of here? They've started doing one, two, three, etc. for people like me who took way too long to finish these sets and took forever. So they essentially break it down, very easy to put together. They have step one and they tell you what it is, then two and then ah, three. So we'll kind of just take it a step at a time, which we're actually starting by putting together the Robert Pattinson Batman minifigure. And those are the only parts you can do since the rest of it's degenerate J-proof. Yeah, we don't really need to go there. So I finally got these together and we have Batman. Now this is the Robert Pattinson Batman. Like I said, he's really cool, really detailed and he does come with a batarang and 
Penguin. Now, I believe that this is the only The Batman set that Penguin comes in for now. I am sure that they will likely release more once the movie is actually out. Uh, but this Batman, it's pretty much the same suit, I, I think. Kitty just sneezed. In most of the uh, in most of the sets right now, pretty much obviously, of course, they're going to come with a Batman. Like that's just a given. Penguin though is a little more unique, so it's nice to actually see him in here. And one nice little feature that they do have that I have not actually put on yet, but I can just show you super duper quick. And this came with my other set as well. Is they do give you a Bruce Wayne head and hair. I'm just going to kind of uh, sloppily throw it on here. But if you wanted to, you could take off the cape and cowl head and actually put on the Bruce Wayne head as well in the suit, which I think randomly I got Kitty's hair here as well. Kitty is just being a liability today. But I actually thought this was really cool that it came with this. He looks great. So I don't know, it's just really neat to see these sets. And one of the things that I really like about this set is that uh, I guess this movie coming out again is it seems to have revitalized Lego's interest in Batman. Now I know what you're thinking, it never went anywhere and you're right, but what I mean by that is movie Batman. Like we've been getting 1989 Batman actual Lego sets in the past couple of years again with the hype around the Batman. We've been getting things like there was a new reprint of the Tumblr, which I'm going to review in the future, which was based off of the Batman Begins. It even comes with the Scarecrow. So even Adam West's, it, it, they made that Batmobile again. So I think one of the coolest things to come from this movie is even if you don't care at all, right? Like, let's say you are the hard, I, oh my, you're the most hardcore Snyder, you know, fan of all time, right? And I've told you before, I like Zack Snyder's Justice League. Let's say you're the biggest fan of all time, you're pissed off about the Ben Affleck thing, you're like, I don't even care about this at all. One of the coolest things is they've gone back and done you know, actual sets of other Batman in the past, and I think that it's really cool they did that. I just wish that they would do more with that Batfleck one, so I'm hoping that when The Flash comes out that they do some with that. But without further ado, I should probably build this and stop monologuing about Batman. It's something that I do borderline for a living, so I think I could take a break for a couple minutes. One interesting thing is that these pieces, which of course, again, have cat hair on them, are normally used to actually display minifigures, I've noticed. I mean, this is pretty much the piece everyone buys for that. I even have, I think Jill can kind of show up there a little bit better that I have um, my own minifigures on display up there. A little hard to see them, but I have a lot and I have them over on the other side of the room as well. But this is actually randomly a piece of the Batmobile now. So I thought that was kind of funny because this is the first time I'm sure it's been done, but it's the first time I've ever seen this get used in an official Lego set.
So we got done with part one. Uh, you know, it's not really resembling anything that looks like a car. I suppose you could use this and, and use this as a platform to fling your Lego minifigures if you could only afford the first bag. But uh, since I don't know of a way to only buy bag one, we're going to keep on going on and seeing if we can make this resemble something at least similar to a car. So I skipped ahead a few steps, but we actually have the headlights on now. We're getting to the part where they're demanding that we put on absolutely every sticker known to man. I will say this is something I actually don't like about Legos anymore. This is just me personally. I have shaky hands, I'm sure a lot of you know, like this is about as steady as I can hold my hands uh, because I have like a chronic pain issue. So pretty much like I have to have Jill do that part. So every time there's like a sticker, I'm just like, Jill, please just do this. Uh, and it's really obnoxious to me. They used to just print these graphics right on the pieces, but I'm sure, I'm 100% sure it's just like a, a price thing. Like it's cheaper to do this, but whatever, it's still cool. So I will keep it rolling. So we're finally on uh, bag number three, I guess. This is one of the things I don't like about this. I already mentioned this, so I won't ramble and rave, but this is one of the stickers I had to do. And because it got a tiny, tiny air bubble in it, literally the size of like, I don't know, a pinhead, uh, the whole thing popped and now it has a weird mark on it. Again, never used to happen with old Legos, but like whatever, I guess maybe if you're captain perfectionist and uh, can do everything right in life that won't happen to you but it happened to me so so it's finally put together I actually jumped ahead a little bit I had Jill help me out put it together one of the cool things about this is that they do have like the blue flames around it which I'll show you a better shot here as well when we zoom in on it and look around it but it has blue flames coming out of the back one thing that pissed me off to no end with this thing is seriously like the stickers like I it actively irritates me. I know I'm someone with OCD, so bear with me here. Maybe you won't care if you get it, but it really pisses me off that we put this sticker on and it legitimately has an air bubble in it and it came this way. Like the sticker was not perfect. We put it on and then it got trapped under it because the sticker was not completely flat. We even tried removing it and doing it again. It's just that way. It's not gonna be perfect. Um, but you know what's annoying about that? is that the back already does have a gauge on it, which was printed on by the back cylinders of the engine where the exhaust comes out and stuff. So I don't understand why there were pieces included in this set that are printed on, but other ones where you had to do like a, a DIY for it for some reason, I just don't get it. But I do think it's a really, really cool car. This is certainly, I haven't seen the movie yet, 
but this is from a design standpoint alone probably one of my favorite batmobiles i really like this early couple years look where it's not this massive hulking tank it is a car but it is still armored and one of the coolest things about this as well is that the top does come off and you can put batman in it i just kind of laid him down but you can sit him in there and we'll show a shot of the of the inside of the cabinet and stuff i do wish that um with this that they were able to make the top actually come up like it used to on the old star wars ships and stuff like that because I've noticed that they used to include hinges and things so that the top of these vehicles could actually open up. And now a lot of the times for some reason Lego doesn't. You just put it on and you have to take it off. It's not a big deal, but it's something that I wish was still there. It can shoot at you though. Like I don't want to uh, break Jill's phone, so I'll just do this. But it actually does have missiles built into the front. And then there is a firing mechanism which actually shoots them out. You definitely lost those in our office. I see one right there and one's over there. But I I thought that was really neat. Um, you know, it's not like a seller, but it is really cool. This whole Batmobile is really interesting. It's kind of uh, inspired, it seems like, by parts of a Challenger or a Charger or even a Camaro. So it has that almost muscle sports car modern day look. And I really love it. And I'm really looking forward to the movie. So I will show you one more time the box, just in case you are interested in this. This is the, uh, let's see what set it is. It is set 76181, which is the Batmobile and the Penguin Chase. So if you are interested in this, this is what it looks like. This is the set. I really like it. And I am definitely looking forward to actually reviewing a couple more Batmobiles I got in the near future. I actually recently got the Adam West uh, Batman Batmobile. Yay, Batmobile! Oh my goodness. And also, you just gave someone a headache. And also, we got a Batman Begins Tumblr Batmobile as well. So I'm not sure which order I'll do those in, but I'm definitely going to... Uh, be reviewing those as well in the future and I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you end up liking the Batman movie. Uh, you know, I don't I Don't buy Legos too often, but I've really been digging some of these movie sets They've been doing recently for things like no way home and now the Batman and some of this other stuff uh, They're going back and doing the infinity saga for Marvel. So I'm pretty hyped for it and Excited. Thanks a lot for checking it out. Wait, wait drive the car for us. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. You got in an accident. Oh no. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. And as always, everyone, stay shway and be sure to check out our sponsor, our wonderful sponsor, Opera GX. Our personal tracking link is in the description down below for you to download Opera GX. Check it out. It is the, the web browser designed for gamers. You like these things? You love the connect? You might not, I don't know. You love uh, you love the Xbox 360? You love playing Transformers? Maybe you are just the world's biggest fan of uh, Watch Dogs. You wanna get back to the <laughs> game, don't you? Opera GX is there for you to cut out all of that middleman garbage and get you back to your game real quick. So check it out, description down below. Thanks for sticking out. I'll see you in the next one.